December, y'all. Welcome back to another video. This is Riker, my son. Rock and and we like are no in Deep Rock Galactic, Rock checking the out the five-year anniversary. The decorations are there to control right now we're about, uh, I'm right, selecting a mission. So, why did you pick this mission? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, so... I thought it was, like, probably relatively easy um, uh, at the time for you, since you're still relatively new into Deep Rock Galactic. Ouch. Didn't want to <laughs> pick something that's a little too difficult, as you can see with the lowest difficulty right there. Okay. Mission selected. Powering that's up fair. Get on board, team. I love all the decorations that they do. Hurry up! I ain't getting younger, you know. initiating. Fasten your seatbelts. Stone. Damn, it's smelly in here. It wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We rock. Always throwing me under the bus. <laughs> That's the only reason why to have kids. I'm just teasing. Hopefully, <laughs> the last time. Has anyone seen my pig? Okay, so I did speed this up, this so it is faster mission. as we're watching this. Um, it's two times speed, or we'll be here for like cave. an hour or two. <laughs> Find the repair the lost mules, get the drop pod operational, and return to base. Yeah, he's been going on for like about like, depending on if you how quickly you're able to find the objective or whatnot, you can take up a good amount. You think about like a good 10 to minutes, so about 30 minutes about average. So uh, when I play for a mission, yeah. <laughs> Um, though, well, I've done some missions where, on um, like the higher difficulties, and they can take about like 40 minutes to 50 minutes just per one mission. Oh my gosh, uh, Wirt and I did a mission, and it was like over an hour, and it was late at night, and he was falling asleep, and I was like, we were both like stressing and tired, and yeah. <laughs> so, we were really glad to find the last thing that we needed and end it. But wow, I've never to play this so fast. That's the game penalizes you also for the longer you stay in a mission. Uh, I know, like around the, I think around the 45 minute mark, there's a small chance where a special like boss can spawn in called the dreadnought. Oh, I think we actually oh. have a and there's different types of dreadnoughts. Um, and I think the lower the difficulty you're on, the less likely it's going to happen. But if you're on a higher difficulty, uh -huh. uh, there's a higher chance of it happening when you hit 45 minutes. And I think. There's a certain increment where every, if a certain amount of time passes again, the chance for the dreadnought spawning gets higher. I could be completely wrong on that, so don't quote me on that. But no, I'm quoting. I've, but um, there's been quite a few times where I've done a mission like solo and I just take too long, and around 40 minutes or so, I just have a dreadnought. I can just completely fuck shit over. Oh, I can't recall. I think you might have seen a dreadnought, but I'm not too sure. Move your tin ass over here and hurry, please. If you're rocking stone, oh, yeah. you never Oh yeah, learn. I found the, st uh, the little statue at the time that gave us bonus rewards. Yeah. Weapon ready. Anniversary trophy secured. Well done, team. Performance point bonus is active. Red sugar. Why are you hitting the mushroom? I don't know. <laughs> I, I just I I mine everything. <laughs> I shoot everything and mine everything. <laughs> Cause it, you know what? It looks a lot like the, the red sugar looks a lot like the nitra. The only difference is that the red sugar glows, nitra doesn't. Yeah, well, when you're in the thick of the game, it's just I like right sometimes here. I, I, right I red is red. Difference. Could need a new canister. Red is just Getting red. tired of this old rust bucket. Alright, there's one of the pieces for the objective. I believe we have to salvage uh, two mullies. So we have to find two little baby mullies. We gotta find the legs uh, attached to the main body so we can uh, strike them out. Way, and you know platform what? Up. I really. One of the things I love about your character is that you can make that platform. That is a god and I love that platform. It really is convenient. And then when you're Reloaded. playing with people that don't have it, no offense for it if you're listening, but it sucks. It's like we both have like the zip lines, but sometimes you need the platform. Zip line up. 
Oh, I just got hit by one of the... I forget what it's called, the purple one right there is the one that shoots the webs. Why'd you shoot your shield at him? I don't know! <laughs> The shield's supposed to protect you and keep them out, you just Decide. threw it at them, so they're just gonna move away from it. I don't know! <laughs> yeah. Now that I'm just seeing what you're doing, I can just criticize everything. <laughs> this will be a good uh, video of what not to do. Just watch this and know what not to do for uh, Deep Rock Galactic. <laughs> Pro and noob play for Deep Rock Galactic. I'm such a noob. <laughs> I was feeling all <laughs> I could just I, I just think you panic right now, like wondering where the fuck the purple one is straight shooting you. Oh, there they are. <laughs> These are able to aim pretty well. Uh, playing uh, some of those games uh, in the past with Boogle and uh, yeah, what was it? Um, what was that zombie game you played? Oh yeah, the uh, back for blood. Back for blood and uh, and me helping you a bit. With Team Fortress 2 and whatnot. Yes, I am. Actually, seems uh, seem to help you with uh, aiming a lot better in games yes. like this. Yes, and Borderlands 3 is helping me. He actually complimented me, saying that I'm getting better, and so thank you for the compliment. That means a lot to me. I, it really does. That I'm not such a Zip, zoom. a dork. Well, I'm mean, still a dork, but. And then I, there's our hairdresser that thinks he should be totally be fine playing Call of Duty. Which, yes. Yeah, and I don't know about that. conversation of that in a Discord server today. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not how you play Call of Duty. Okay. <laughs> or at the very least, if you ever do ever touch Call of Duty, you're just gonna have the uh, everyone be muted in game chat. Oh, for the shit talking. Yeah, pretty much Call of Duty is infamous for just 12 year olds just calling you every single slur there is and unimaginable. Oh, that's okay, I'll have fun. You know me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is fun to like shit talk to little kids, but then it gets annoying after yeah. five minutes after you just hear the high pitch like, Fuck you, fuck you! Can't do it. The angle's too steep. Trust me, I've experienced that shit, and may or may not have done the same thing when I was also 12. <laughs> Got a gem. Cover me. So, I've recorded this that we're watching now, and I've recorded two other videos where I can play with work, and the first one. It was as where this is going to go out for December, and it should be out in July. The work first one with work. I did okay with him, but this was act, this. These videos are kind of out of order. I actually played this with you first. Nicely done, team. And then I started, and then I played this with uh, words. And I, it, the different playing styles with different people. And ready. I tend to so follow long, you suckers. close to you. Because you're new and you don't know exactly the game right. yet, so it's best to stay close to me and also so you're not by yourself. Right, true. And even in the game they say it's best to, like, the, the mission control will say, like, you should stick next to your partner and stuff like that. Um, especially, like, if you're down, oh, you can go steep. revive them. It's Molly. too steep. But, uh, I do tend to rely on you in game and then playing with words. <laughs> He's like the zipline's giving you a bit of trouble. Oh yeah. Oh, it was third time's a charm. Nope. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> you I think you're finally starting to understand that yeah guy break that. There you go. Yep. <laughs> Slowly but surely learning. Yep. But yeah, I I had to be a little more uh, independent and take the initiative on things. But yeah, I uh, I do appreciate learning from you in this game. Steve. I feel so bad whenever I shoot your companion. I feel so bad because he looks, even though he has that blue outline, I still will shoot him and I feel bad. And don't worry about Steve, he should be fine. <laughs> Steve never dies. Born ready. 
So what's on your back? Do you have wings on your back? No, it's just an outfit you can get uh, as DLC. Where I have an out. There's like a. There's multiple different like packs that you can download that have different like themes for the cosmetics. And the one I got, it just makes it work for all the characters. They have a uh, Titan from like the like the monsters you fight. Um, uh, it's kind of like you wear like the 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 Kain that's like the protective the natural protective armor on these insect aliens. Uh -huh. You just take it off them and you just turn it to armor. Now, it doesn't actually give you like any sort of armor. It's just, it just clearly looks that way. So it's kind of just kind of like imagining just kind of almost like trophies in a way where you're just, uh, it just shows like you killed a lot of them and it just, you're just kind of wearing like Good work. numerous dead parts of those guys. Oh, okay. It's just to look cool more than, more than anything. And that's why I've just been wearing it. Because nice. my character just kind of like looks like a, or at least the way I try to make my character look, looks like he's just kind of like a space Australian dwarf. <laughs> a he's just space on the, he's, Australian he's, he's, dwarf. <laughs> he's just in the outback. <laughs> yeah, outback. <laughs> Mostly the soundtrack in the game is really good, just the music that plays yeah. very so often. This song is playing now is one of my favorites. It's just a really calm, but kind of like Kind of a little like uh, ominous. Yeah, it can kind of lull you sometimes too, where you get listening to the music and then all of a sudden you have a swarm. Well, the music changes in the swarm; it's a lot more kind of upbeat and intense. But it's good to vibe to while you're mining. I like it. Indeed, you need it's good to have some good music just to kind of chill to while you're just doing some of the monotonous stuff. Agree. But yeah, you can definitely take quite a long time in this game. I think the longest I've taken in a mission was, I think, close to two hours oh, for wow. one mission. That's just because uh, you go in the higher level difficulties, there's different variants of certain monster uh, aliens you can fight. And there's one that's a giant insect that if you if it gets too close to you, I mean, you know like how there's like the little ones that explode when they get up on you, right? And they right. do like quite a bit of damage. Well, imagine the, the big mother of them all. Oh. And it's a giant mother. I mean, it's like it's like the half the size of the rocket there. Oh, wow. Um, and I forget what it's called, but when it gets close to you, it'll just destroy a giant, it'll just make a huge crater where, where it explodes. But there's a variant of that monster as well. And when that one, the variant explodes, um, it create everywhere the explosion hits and the crater gets turned to gold. So oh, wow. then you have a giant crater of gold. And because of how big these craters can end up being, depending on if you like manage to blow it up in like a small like small hallway, you can get a shit ton of gold. Especially if you have uh, the one drink that increases the amount of gold you get from mining. And we also had that on top of that. So we were stuck just trying to mine this giant crater of gold. For almost two hours, and I think by the end we came out with like about I can't remember exactly the amount of credits we got for it, but it was a it was a pretty oh, large amount. Now to get the, pod working. First, establishing a pod the one thing I like about this the about, one thing I like about the workouts is that every kind of time you go on a mission, it's uh, a layout for each um uh, objective is a little bit different, so it's not like the same path you have to take. It's always randomly generated, which just keeps it interesting every single time. I agree. Because one thing that definitely kind of sometimes like bores me in some games is when you have to do the just same and honest task and you just have to keep going kind of like on repeat and it's like I can, I'm just used to it with modern gaming but with, it just kind of gets old having to just kind of turn your brain off and just kind of go on autopilot just doing the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah, Which, I agree. like Deep Rock Lodge, it keeps it different every time by having like the map being different every single time yeah. and then not to mention just when you fight the enemies and what enemies you fight, and potentially the smaller events that randomly can happen. Seal. Supposed to be in the shield as well when you toss that. <laughs> it's kind of humiliating having you see all my faults. <laughs> yeah, I'm not able to pay attention to it when I'm actively trying to kill the monsters. <laughs> it's just seeming just setting up my turret and then also just setting up all the defenses here while you're looking at the ceiling just kind of thinking that the walls are pretty or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here just trying to get prepared to just fight for my life over here. You're just kind of thinking just, man, <laughs> you these walls are fancy. Out of my gun. I'm, I'm working. Sound bullets. <laughs> 
Return to the triangulation zone. Oh, you yeah. just pull, you, you just see your gun if something just looks at you weird and vaguely. <laughs> I will say though, the, I think it's the engineer that class I was playing at the time. Uh, very helpful for stuff like this, just because I can have a turret down. I have a grenade yes. that creates little, I, that creates uh, these little missiles that just shoot uh, bullets at any tar uh, enemies nearby, and they'll actually go after them. Yes, he is. And just it's really helpful. It's almost yes. like I have like two other players just in one exactly. with that setup I have. Now, I can't do that with my character, right? No, your character is supposed to be tanky and be kind of like a moving wall. Okay. Which is why you're really slow, you don't have much maneuverability. But you do, but you are capable of doing a lot of damage with your machine gun. Okay. Um, especially if you build it right. You're just meant to basically be on the front lines, more or less, and just t killing all the enemies. Okay. The engineer's basically meant to be kind of in support in the back and just creating tourists to kind of just help uh, shoot the enemies in case like you're not able to um, uh, like if you come from behind or something or just have them or just put it down like a certain uh put it down at the end of like a certain like uh i can't think of the word at the moment but like at a vile spot to just prevent enemies from coming from that area since they'll just kill any of them that are coming towards there within um at least a lesser tier to end sex Yeah, they are handy. Those turrets are really handy. I'd say probably my favorite class to play would probably be the scout, just because they have a little grapple hook and they're, they have a, they move up pretty fast. So it's just pretty nice to get around really quickly. Oh yeah. they have uh, an M1 Garand, so pretty nice having that. Fuel cells at seventy-five percent. You're almost there. Kind of funny seeing you see the monsters for a second and just a split second and be like, oh, well, I actually shoot those <laughs> after you look at them. <laughs> Fuel cells fully charged. Drop pod engine powering up. Hold your ground. We're almost ready to pull you and the goods out. But what they, what the game, what you want, Kiri, but That's in the game, you're, uh, you're welcome. Anytime. That you were actually encouraging to me. You know, you're like, you're doing good, mom. Just shoot over here or you know in, in game and i should try to find a way to record us actually in game doing this i'll say next time we play uh after i got since, since i got this set up where you were able to record the audio with this and stuff like that you can record uh as you're playing the game yeah. at the same time so i'll say you can just that should be a lot better i think uh I'd probably be a bit, maybe a better experience. They can probably hear you screaming if like uh, how you have like the uh, the insects running after you every couple seconds and whatnot. I scream like you know, a bitch I mean, every time. Uh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> now I have to like redeem myself with my viewers so they know I don't do that. <laughs> Only with scary games do I scream. Not even with scary games. <laughs> Countless times I've seen you play Conan Exiles or. Literally no. any other game, and then just something comes out of nowhere, and then all of a sudden I'm just playing my games, and then from across the room I just hear you screaming that you're getting chased or something. Thrusters <laughs> calibrated. I take the fifth. Ah, oh, gobble snarks. Think I dropped me bloody keys. Drop on powered up and ready to leave. It's time to bring it all home. Get on board. We're leaving with or without you. I think you're supposed to be getting on the ship now since it's about to take off. I love the commentary that our characters say. They crack me Let's up. Let's bring it home. Retrieving escape pod. If I'm not mistaken, I think uh, all the characters are have the same voice actor or something like that. It's just they differently pitched it. Okay. Which for some of them it's pretty easy to tell. Like scouts is just. Obviously, sounds higher pitch than some of the other characters, but it sounds the same. And there's you with your big ass snowman head. Hey, I love my snowman head. <laughs> oh.
Well, thank you so much for. Oh, I think I, I maybe you. Let's see if it shows the window. New regions of Huxies have been made available to you. Keep this up, and you might just make something of yourself here. I I enjoy gaming with you. You're a, you're fun to game with, and I and I do enjoy gaming with you too. Thank you just want to play with you. Thank you. And then here, can you explain this really quick for the viewers? So there's the, so this is the performance uh, board. Uh, when you first log onto it, there's milestones, and you can even see here you have claimable perk points. Uh, what that means is that there's certain oh, objectives you can play. As you see here, you can play that one objective, and you got five stars for it. And when you and the stars you earn here, if you go over to the perk section, uh, which you'll be doing here in a second, you can spend those stars to buy new perks. And those perks uh, are categorized into two different types. There's the reds, which are passive, which once you put them on. Uh, there's nothing yet to do to activate them. They're always active. Um, then there's the blue ones, which uh, I believe you can only have one or two at a time. And those ones you get to actually, um, uh, actually give you like a new ability to use, um, typically with a cooldown following it. <laughs> okay, we are in deep recollection. Oh, you know what? I, I put this. This is my sub commander Riker, and we just got done doing a mission that we recorded. The pretty sound of teamwork. But I didn't record my voice. I've been talking the whole time in the video, and then my microphone was muted. So, <laughs> so I. But uh, uh anyhow, now I fucked myself. With this. <laughs> Shit. We will do another. Re oh well, another it is mission. what it is. Mm. Maybe the probably cut that ending part out. Well, I, I put this in because it's. I do like this part. I think we oh, did the dream that everything? you show me. I mean, it depends if we talk when we get the drinks then. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> he would really do that, would he? Will result in a significant fine. Consider yourself warned. Don't know how I feel about her hearing two of you Let's now at the same time. Like, the limits of this. You, know me, I you can only handle one of you. <laughs> oh, or their birthday hats. Oh, how cool is that? I thought it was cake. You had me at cake. <laughs> Doesn't it look like cake right here? And then they have like a little table here. Aw, this is pretty dope. Oh, and look. There's like balloons over here. There's Molly. I thought Molly was holding the balloons. What is this? Kindergarten? You should feel ashamed of yourself. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel ashamed of myself. I Rock me is... like a stone. Yep. <laughs> there Fortune you go. And glory. To the fallen. <laughs> I love these. Cheers. <laughs> I just upgraded a drink. Yes. Oh, this one. <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> hey, you really are a snowman now. Yep. That's because of the drink. Nice. And then we do the hot one next, I think. <laughs> yep. Heat us up some mugs for a round of burning love place. Oh, that looks cool. Which, which drink is this? <laughs> to Carl! Cheers, everyone! <laughs> yeah! Nice! Yeah. And make you drink the wormhole one. See, uh, yeah, how do you, you see that one? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's dope. Oh, I I love gaming with you. Thank you so much, and thank you for joining me on this commentary. I really appreciate it, and I think my my viewers will enjoy hearing you and all the valuable things you said. Not as not as much anymore. Might as well we'll see about that. <laughs> oh, what's this? Rock and stone. stone! Cheers! Cheers, Mike! Oh. That's the stuff! I love you! <laughs> I need another one! Yeah! I did! Nice! 
Oh, so Is the gravity thing of a dick on the fritz again? <laughs> Time to go to world. <laughs> Did I hear a rockin' stone? Oh, did you wake up in here too? Oh, that was some powerful shit. <laughs> and I hope y'all enjoyed the video along with us talking about uh, what we, our gameplay and other things. And if you liked it and you want to see more of Riker and more of guests in the commentary or us playing, let me know in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful December. Peace, love, and blessed be. Bye, y'all.